Let's give it a shot. Be careful. To the left. That's right. Oh, thanks. No, you're wrong. I'm wrong. I mean right. Oh, plot. Come on. But with your curls. Watch my scalp. In my hands. Watch it out. I control every bowl, plate, fork, and frying pan. I'm whisking it all. This is impossible. Mastery of puppetry might be unsolvable. You in the kitchen. What's wrong with that? I mean, I'm just a rat in the hat. I guess. With a chop and a mince and a crack and a rinse. Wait, chop is a knife? Just trust me. Fine, all right. My cooking station situation's looking pretty hairy. But no one you control, it makes it all this scary. You can cook and you exist as a human. What a dumb, delicious, not suspicious thing we're doing. Chef on my head. Oh, and I got your back. Huh. It's just a rat in the hat. Embracing the inner Colbert. What are you doing? I'm cutting vegetables. I'm cutting vegetables. No, you waste energy and okay. time. Do you think cooking is a cute job like mommy in the kitchen? Well, mommy never had to face the dinner rush when orders came flooding in and every dish is different and none are simple and all of the different cooking types but must arise and take a summer staple exactly at the same time, hot and perfect. Every second counts and you cannot be mommy. Do you understand? Not particularly. Such a stupid boy. Just listen. Okay. Want to make it in the kitchen? Yes, ma'am. You can't just flail your arms around. Right, got it. So, honey, time to focus. Okay. Stop and listen. Will do. Cause there's a million things you have to know about because you know the customer is who we think about. So, every decision we make is based on how they want to feel today, which is what? Good. The gold in the gruel One human's trash Is another rat's fuel You know what I always say Anyone can cook Anyone can cook Turn on my heat Wash up my hands Splash in some stock Now this soup demands With you by my side As a chef and a guide And you with your long arms and legs Every second I'm believing Everything inside that stupid book Anyone can cook. Okay. If you want to make it in the kitchen, yes, you can't just flail your arms on. Darling, we need I've got you now. You may have got your restaurant, but soon it's going down. Ratatouille. It's good. As a longtime Ratatouille lover and musical theater techie, here's my contribution to the wonderful idea that is the Ratatouille musical. These are just a few ideas that I haven't heard anywhere else yet. Waiters should roller skate through the audience and pass out menus. When Remy eats the strawberry and cheese, his synesthesia should explode across the stage with choreography and a light show. This song. It needs to be somewhere. I don't know how everyone forgot about it. Gusteau's spirit should not just be an actor standing on stage. It needs to be a projection or even just a voice. The biggest and most extravagant choreography of the entire show should be an interlude when Anton Ego eats the ratatouille. And lastly, we need to keep Lin-Manuel Miranda away from the production of this show. This generation's version of Frankenstein was not the monster. Frankenstein was the scientist. Is Ratatouille is not the name of the rat. Ratatouille is the name of the dish. Thank you, and I hope this made sense. I have a proposition for the Ratatouille musical. Now, I can't write music or anything like that, but here's a suggestion if anyone wants to incorporate this, I'm putting it to the universe. So Ego is like the super intense critic, and he's just super cold and super like, I don't like food, I love it. So every time he enters, there should be a song going on, and then when he comes in, the song should stop. And he should not sing a single lyric. He should say nothing that rhymes. He shouldn't do anything singing related. Until he eats the ratatouille. And when he takes that first bite, the stage should explode. There should be lights. The whole ensemble comes on. And Anton Ego should have a gorgeous solo about how delicious that food is. Thank you for your time.
absolutely nobody asked for this, so here we go. More of my thoughts on Remy the Ratatouille. So if you haven't seen my video or a million others like it, you are pretty stressed because Remy's not a Ratatouille. Heard all of your ideas for a rewrite? I've thought about it, and I accept none of them. You see, the problem is twofold. A, Remy's not a Ratatouille, and B, the humans don't know that Remy is named Remy. The solution? Remy's dad. Hear me out on this one. Raise your hand if you've heard an older person call Facebook, Faceplace. What if Remy's dad, being really proud of him, writes a song, Remy the Ratatouille. So Remy's dad is ready for his moment, and he comes on the stage, and he's like, Remy the Ratatouille. And Remy, being like an adolescent boy, is like, I'm going to stop you right there. At that point, he explains that Ratatouille is the dish and that he's a little chef. So then Remy's dad is like, man, I worked really hard on this. I've got like a whole dance number. It's going to be great. And Remy's mom is like, your father's worked really hard on this, Remy. You're being selfish. They drop it. They move on. At the end of the show, curtains close. But Remy's dad comes out with an annoyed Remy, insisting everyone watch it. He's a garbage boy. There's nothing to feel yet. That's how you feel, but mark my words, this is highly suspect. Mm, I'll do some digging. Keep an eye on him, yes? My eye is on everything in this kitchen. For I am the chef. Yes, I am the chef! This is the chef. The chef Augusto. The chef Augusto. I'm here every day from before we open till after we close. Yes, I am the chef. This is the chef. The chef Augusto. The magic was him, but now it is me, as everyone knows. And I have plans. Oh, very big plans in a month. This man's brand will be in my hands. The magic he put, the magic he put into all that he cooked, into all that he cooked, will be microwavable meals that will have America. Oh, 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 oh. Two and chicken and chop turkey pockets. The profits will see them go off like rockets, and I will get what I deserve to get because I am the chef. yourself and the rest of us killed cooking cooking yeah but no it was an accident and it's never gonna happen again and Remy, i promise that I, we are rats we do not cook people cook rats don't no but anybody can cook uh, that's uh, see it's the rat's life for us and oh remy we don't cook food let alone where we don't go rat's life for us and oh remy we feast with the grime, the fungus, and bacteria grow Grab a menu and follow me There's a whole buffet that I'd like you to see So Remy, don't look so gloomy This is your duty to grow The rat's way of life is the way to go I found an apple core! I found a piece of bread! I found a band-aid! Strike what that last guy said The point is, Remy, whatever you'd like to eat Is in a pile of junk sitting right at your feet The rat no, kids, don't make me ask again. Get in the car. No, it's a surprise. I'm not telling you what we're doing. You know what? Fine. We're seeing the Ratatouzical. Are you happy? Get in the car. It's beautiful. It looks just like it did in the TikTok. I'm so sorry, guys. Mommy's having a moment. Okay, our seat should be around here somewhere. <gasps> okay, it's starting! We say... Anyone can cook. Any wow, what a good first act. You know, I loved the use of shadow puppets in there. I think I saw that on TikTok. Yeah, I think I did. Oh my gosh. Hi, is this where I buy merch? I'll take that one, please. You know, I remember when this was just coming out on TikTok. Oh, there's a discount for that? Oh, perfect. <gasps> Why, well, yes, it is based on Colette. Thank you for noticing. Okay, second act. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so sorry.
Ratatouille, it served to peasants and the like. Ratatouille, do I dare humor it with a bite? When I review foods abroad, they look on me with dread. No need to seal the coffin, for this restaurant is dead. Ratatouille, I never stuttered or misspoke. Ratatouille, is this some kind of twisted joke? I asked him for his best, is this some kind of test? The chef misunderstood for this ratatouille. It's good. Don't look at the carnage. Don't fall for a human's deceit. The world we live in belongs to the enemy. We must learn to live carefully. Humans aren't friends. To them, we are pests. They think we are vermin. Nothing more, nothing less. So you think you're exempt. Well, that's fine. Run on back. But don't cry to me if you fall in a trap. Because in the end, there is one thing I know. The death of a rat is painful, messy, and slow. Bring me the rat into me. Think you got the skills? The drive to thrive in the kitchen. To serve this dirt to me, expecting my good word. Please, my palate is reserved for only Michelin. I'm not one to be fulfilled. I strive to find perspective. No food is not a farce, it's a strand of classic art. Get it wrong, and you'll succumb to my directive. Everybody thinks they're a genius, regardless of their skills or taste. But of course, what would I know? Who am I to judge Gusto? All these imbecile crooks think that I'd give a second look, believing everything inside that stupid book. Anyone can cook. Honestly, nothing's funnier than the fact that the Ratatouille musical fandom has just openly rejected the original song. We've come so far to make it so good that we're going, oh, it makes no sense. Let's just cut it. Has a meme ever just rejected its original conception before? You think cooking is a cute job, eh? Like mommy in the kitchen? But mommy never had to face the dinner rush with the orders come flooding in and every dish is different and none are simple and all of the different cooking times we must arrive on the cutting off table at exactly the same time. Finding the good in the garbage, the gold in the gruel. One human's trash is another rat's fuel. Chef misunderstood for this ratatouille. It's good. There's a little rat, and it's running rampant from inside Linguini's stupid hat. And he is deliberately pretending that he doesn't know what he's doing to my brain. I praise you, oh ratatouille, may the world be You think cooking is a cute job, eh? Like mommy in the kitchen? But mommy never had to face the dinner rush with the orders come flooding in and every dish is different and none are simple and all of the different cooking times we must arrive on the cutting off table at exactly the same time. Finding the good in the garbage, the gold in the gruel. One human's trash is another rat's fuel. Chef misunderstood for this ratatouille. 
It's good. There's a little rat, and it's running rampant from inside Linguini's stupid hat. And he is deliberately pretending that he doesn't know what he's doing to my brain. I praise you, oh rabbit to me, may the world be still so confused. Obviously, the rats should be puppets when they're in scenes with humans for the size difference, but when it's scenes with just rats, they should all be in rat costumes, but be humans in rat costumes so we can see what's happening better and we're down to part of their world. And for anyone who's like, but what about scenes where Linguini and Remy are talking to each other? Remy can be up on a little platform when he's supposed to be in the hat so that we as the audience can still see Remy and everything he's doing clearly. But Linguini can have like maybe a little light up silhouette in his chef's hat that he's walking around with on stage so that we also understand where Remy is supposed to be. To be the rat of all of my dreams. I praise you, oh rabbit to me. May the world be This is my choreography submission for Ratatouille, the musical, featuring Atlanta professional dancers, Master and Brandon. So please enjoy Colette's kitchen takeout. Well, mommy, I don't have to take the dinner off if you want to come down in and everything. She came out and I was like, oh, Thank you. 
are you doing? I'm cutting vegetables. I'm cutting no, veg. No, you waste energy and time. Okay, okay. You think cooking is a cute job, huh? Like mommy in the kitchen? Well, mommy never had to face the dinner class when the orders came flooding in and every dish is different and none are simple and all the different cooking kinds. But must arrive at the customer table at the exact same time, hot and perfect. Every second counts and you cannot be mommy. Do you understand? Not particularly. Oh, you are such a stupid boy. Just listen to me. Okay. If you want to make it in the kitchen, yes, you can't just fly your arms around. Right, got it. So, time to focus. Okay. Stop and listen. Because we'll there's a million things you have to know about. Because you know the customer is who we think about. So, every decision we make is based on how they want to feel today. Which is what? Good. Exactly. anyone else on the side of TikTok where they're making a whole Ratatouille musical? Because honestly, some of the talent is unmatched. The choreography, the graphic designs, the songs. Who's producing this? Who's pr Let me know. I'll watch. Let me know. Remy and I'm making ratatouille. Life is like a movie. My occupation taking the U. We used to suffer in the sewers, finding food to survive. But I aspire to thrive. What good is cheese without onions and chive? And now I vibe inside the house of Gusto. I tiptoe up on the counter while they rake in the dough. And while the secret to the sauce is that I cook for linguine, I realize the prizes that I traded scraps for zucchini. I'm bewitching in the kitchen with the recipes I'm pitching. It's my mission to inspire with every dish that I'm dishing. Someday they'll all say that I'm the rat of their dreams. And all my seasonings will be the dreams of critics and kings! So because I work on Broadway, people have been asking me lately if I have any thoughts about the Ratatouille musical, and to be honest, yes! Oh my god, let's go! The thing that I think, as a puppet designer, is that if puppetry is going to be used in the show, it needs to be established early on, and then used consistently as a language throughout the show. Puppetry is actually inherent in the story of Ratatouille because Remy is puppeteering Linguini when they cook together. So as a design element for a theatrical production, I think it actually deserves a lot of serious consideration. So I had this idea where maybe Remy is the only rat in the whole show that has actual fur. He washes his hands, he eats right. If you are what you eat, I only want to eat the good stuff, but everybody else eats garbage. So maybe all the other rats are made out of garbage. Not like actual garbage, you know, I mean, it's clean, but it looks like garbage. I've also written a couple of like, songs for this thing. I'm not gonna name that ask you to write songs, but like, you're gonna hear them, deal with it, sorry. But like, honestly guys, I'm, I'm getting to work. When's the first production meeting? Get stage management to put me on the contact sheet.
I would direct the Ratatouille musical. For starters, the thrust of the show would be even if you're small, you can do big things. And so the entire design would revolve around this idea of scale. And we would take this classic Art Nouveau style, which is very popular in Paris with its whimsical curves, and marry it together with these oversized objects so we the audience feel small like Remy. Then as the show progresses and Remy gains more success, those objects would fly away and shrink more down to a traditional size to show how Remy fits into our world. Now, there is the challenge of when the rats and the humans are on stage at the same time. Another TikToker suggested using puppetry, which I do really love, but instead of putting the rats in rat costumes, I would go more of the SpongeBob route, which uses colors and shapes to represent the ideas, which is more playful and more theatrical. Now, I would love to use shadow puppetry, especially for those scenes in the kitchen when everyone is chasing and flitting about. And let's take a note from Waitress and fill the lobby with the smell of croissants at the top of the show to really set the mood. Mwah. This is my submission to the Ratatouille musical. This is a song for Remy's dad. Don't waste your whiskers on dreaming. Try to see life as I do. Take in the smell of it steaming. This wonderful dump here in front of you. Trash is our treasure. It's all that we need. Why ask for better? Comfortably finding the good in the garbage, the gold in the gruel. One human's trash is another rat's fuel. And you there, young Remy, are yet to find out that that's what the life of a rat's all about. French! <laughs> This is my submission for the Ratatouille musical. It's sung by Skinner when he finds out that Remy has been the chef the whole time, not Linguini. It's also a really ensemble heavy number filled with lots of dance breaks and interludes for dialogue. And uh, the first two verses would be sung off the down to the male voice. And please excuse my terrible French accents. Well, it looks like it's the judgment day. The boy has so much to explain. Conspiring with a rodent, hey? Can you imagine that? Seems as though this parasite is feeding people's appetites. He's cooking, and I testify, I knew I smelled the rat or the linguine. I've got you now. You may have got your restaurant, but soon it's going down. Oh, he deceived me. Well, c'est la vie, I'll give him that. But my intuition's never wrong. I knew I smelled the rat. Now at this point, Linguini goes to apologize to Remy for fighting with him earlier, like for part two. So long story short, a group of people on TikTok are making a Ratatouille musical and they said that they needed songwriters and user Cincinnatus Strikes Again said that she would like to see a tango between Linguini and Colette. Um, and so this is what I came up with. What are you doing? I'm cutting vegetables. I'm cutting veg- No, you waste energy and time. Okay. Do you think cooking is a cute job like mommy in the kitchen? Well, mommy never had to face a dinner hush when the orders came flooding in and every dish is different and none is simple and all of the different cooking times but must arrive on the customer's table at exactly the same time. Hot and perfect. Every second counts and you cannot be mommy. Do you understand? Uh, not particularly. You're such a stupid boy. Just listen to me. Okay. If you want to make it in the kitchen yes ma'am you can't just flail your arms around right got it so honey time to focus okay stop and listen will do because there's a
this is my contribution for Ratatouille the Musical. This is the scene where Ego tries the Ratatouille for the first time. can cook, anyone can cook, all you have to do is look inside yourself, anyone can cook, you could even write a book, it could sit right next to mine, there on that shelf, there's not a soul who could tell you how to broil or to braise, a casserole can be droll, but if you want to amaze, try some wine, it's divine, when you want to deglaze. Cause anyone can have some fun, man. Anyone can cook. Ah, oh, anyone can cook. Bon appetit. Seems as though this parasite is feeding people's appetites. He's cooking, and I testify, I knew I smelled the rat. Hand me the ratatouille, the rat of all my dreams. I praise you. You're such a stupid boy, just listen to me. Okay. If you want to make it in the kitchen, yes, ma'am. You can't just flail your arms on. Right, got it. So, Remy, don't look so gloomy. This is your duty to grow. The rat's way of life is the way to go. I found it. Finding the good in the garbage, the gold in the gruel. One human's trash is another rat's fuel. Anyone can go. This parasite is feeding people's appetites. He's cooking, and I testify, I knew I smelled the rat. Hand me the ratatouille, the rat of all my dreams. I'll praise you. You're such a stupid boy, just listen to me. Okay. If you want to make it in the kitchen, yes, ma'am. You can't just flail your arms on. Right, got it. So, Remy, don't look so this is your duty to grow The rat's way of life is the way to go I found an Finding the good in the garbage The gold in the gruel One human's trash is another rat's fuel Anyone can cook Turn down my heat, wash up my hands Splash in some stock, now this soup demands I bet you didn't know I was also a composer. In fact, uh, while I've been preparing for the apocalypse, I've also been writing my own musical. <laughs> Do you mind if I give you the pitch? We don't have time. Fucking go for it. <laughs>